Hello friends on Facebook. It seems that it's about time for another live stream and today I want to talk about three mistakes that a lot or actually most of us vegans make and aren't even aware of. So watch this full video to learn the three mistakes most vegans make and how to solve those mistakes. Um, essentially at the end of this video what you'll learn is how to release those mistakes and how to be first of all more impactful, second of all more balanced within, and third of all um, more sustainable as a vegan in this world because it can be challenging for us, our mind, our heart, our mental health to be vegan because there's a lot of resistance, a lot of people you know talking back to us, telling us that veganism isn't great or that they could never blah 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 blah. We all know the game. <laughs> So let's dive right in. The mistake number one that I want you to know is a lot of us underestimate the importance of our own mental health. We underestimate how important it is to take care of our own mental health. And here's the reason why it's so important, okay? Most of us vegans are active in, in some form or shape, right? Which means we are either, 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 <laughs> we are either investing ourselves into uh, demonstrations, into street outreach, or we are posting things online, we are engaging in online debates. Um, it doesn't matter how you are active. By simply being vegan, most of you all automatically are active. Consistently being active, consistently being engaged in these conversations, in these debates, it can have an impact on your mental health. And I know you know that. I know I know that. I know we all know that. Um, when you had a heated debate, how does your mind feel afterwards? When you had a discussion online, is it gonna like be with you for the rest of the day or you're even gonna take it into the night, into your sleep, into your dreams? These heavy thoughts or maybe these um, anger thoughts of like that fuck face or how dare they, like all of these angry attack thoughts. Um, they have an impact on our nervous system and our nervous system has an impact on our mental health. Now, on the long run, these things can lead us into places of depression. They can lead us into places of um, burnout, actually. And there is nothing less impactful than a vegan who burns out. <laughs> Right. So mistake number one is underestimating the importance of your own mental health. Mistake number two is pushing until depression or burnout. Now, I know that we're all fighters. I know that we're all warriors for a greater world. And it becomes quite a pride oriented thing when we say, I have to fight, I have to push, I have to fight. And I don't want to say that's wrong. I think it's actually really beautiful. Yet what I'm pointing out more here is if you are consistently engaged in any sort or kind of activism, if you are consistently pushing it to educate about veganism, and yet at the same time you're not taking rest moments, recovery moments, uh, self-care moments, you are eventually going to burn out. And I know that has happened to me in my past. I've burned out. I know it has happened to a lot of my friends, a lot of my vegan friends. They've burned out because of of just pushing too much, just being too present, too engaged, too much active for the better world, for the animals, etc. And I think, as I said before, when an activist burns out, it takes them months to maybe even years. For me, it took a whole year to recover from my previous burnout. So in that year, I, I didn't have any impact. I didn't have any impact and I didn't talk about veganism with anybody really. And in that whole year, there's so much more sparks of inspiration that we can leave compared to when we're burned out and retreat from talking about veganism, right? So it's about finding that sweet spot, that dance between self-care, um, taking care of your mental health and being active for the animals, right? So mistake number two is pushing too hard until you're burned out. Now, mistake number three is that a lot of activists ignore the possibility to use mindfulness as a vehicle to elevate your impact whilst staying balanced and happy within. That's right. Mindfulness, it is a term that's been 
very populated, very popular over the last years. It became really big, but honestly, who, re who of us really knows what it's about? In my Facebook group, I recently asked who um, is into mindfulness, who is a practitioner or who's even a teacher. And some said they are just starting to dip their toes into mindfulness. Some said they um, have been practicing for a long time. And some even said I'm a teacher. Now, I myself, I'm a certified life coach. And as a big part of my life coaching business, mindfulness um, is a part of that. out from my activism activities and my vegan presence in the world and I obviously I stayed vegan I, I'm vegan for life you know but I realized that moment dang, I am not I'm not present I'm not feeling good in my body I'm not having the impact I want to have so what can I do and then I went on a journey to discover mindfulness and all the facets that mindfulness can bring to me as an individual but also as a vegan and also as an activist. And I discovered that all of these tools that help me regulate my nervous system, rewire my brain, reconstruct my beliefs, um, calm down my heart and nourish my soul. All of these things, they support me in being vegan and they support me in being inf impactful. So at some point I understood in this chain reaction of me taking care of myself, using mindfulness, as a vehicle for that directly impacts the um, the amount of activism that I can do in the world. And that obviously impacts the amount of animals that are saved. So a little further down the chain, mindfulness and saving animals are quite connected because they set you up as the, the communicator with a new sense of, of balance and a new sense of resilience, which means you can handle emotions that are um, challenging. You can handle situations that are mentally um, exhausting. You can handle them better and differently and feel less exhausted. So mistake number three is actually underestimating what mindfulness can do for you as a vegan and or as an activist. So if you want to stop making these mistakes and you don't know where to start, good thing you're here watching me. I am hosting a group coaching program that's called Become Your Medicine, which is a lifelong community access program in which you receive everything you need to know about mindfulness practices. So you're learning breath work, you're learning proper meditation, you're learning journaling, you're learning the concept of minimalism, you're learning conscious relating and emotional release. You're going to learn all of that inside of this program. Plus, you're receiving lifelong access to weekly live group calls. Every Thursday, I'm hosting these group calls for two different time zones. So regardless where you live in the world, you have access to those live calls. And in these, we get together and we deepen the practices. And with that, we elevate our impact as mindful and activated vegans in this world. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you with the link to that program um, here in this live stream. I'm also having a self-paced course called Mindfulness Foundations. If you're just kind of like starting to dip your toes into it and you don't want to invest into a big group coaching program, you can invest in that course and you can learn three foundational mindfulness practices, which are meditation, breath work and ecstatic dance. So you can learn these and also receive audio files to in integrate and implement these practices into your life. Because believe me, a practice only develops its power if you have it integrated in your everyday life and make it a normal habit, a routine. If not, and you do meditate once a week, the effects of that meditation will not flourish. You will never be able to harvest the fruit of this powerful practice or all of those powerful practices. So integration is really important. And that's also why my Become Your Medicine program is a lifelong community program. So you always have access to our group momentum. You always have access to me personally so we can help you really integrate these things into your life, these beautiful practices. Yeah, let me know if you want that. I'm ready for you. If you're a vegan, if you're an activist, if you're a change maker, you qualify for the program. Uh, if you're not vegan, I won't accept you. This program is 100% for vegans only. The self-paced course, you can do if you're not vegan. It's more creative for vegans, but if you just want to learn meditation, breath work, and ecstatic dance, you don't have to be vegan for that course. 
um, you can enroll anyway, but most of my um, courses and programs are designed specifically for vegans. So if you're a vegan, let me know. Much love your way.